point minus 4, 2 and point 2, 4 lie in the coordinate plane. So the first step in such questions is to draw the figure. So I'm going to quickly draw the figure and then solve with whatever input we have. We have x-axis, y-axis, one point is minus 4, 2 and the second point is 2, 4. The point should be located as per the scale if possible. So 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 4 and 2 units to the up. So we have a point, first point here, that is minus 4, 2. The second point is 2, 4. So we have 1, 2 units to the right, 4 units, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the second point is here, 2, 4. Now, if there is another point, C, this is point B and A respectively, if point C, P, Q lies in the first quadrant, somewhere in the first quadrant we have another point, C. Then the question is where P is less than 2 and Q is less than 4. So let's quickly draw the boundaries of these two parts. That means x coordinate should be less than 2. So drawing a line of x coordinate less than 2, that means the point should be to the left of this line. Y coordinate should be less than 4. So drawing another line so that the point is below this line, which means the third point has to be somewhere within this quadrilateral because. The, this is q equal to 4 so anything below this will be q less than 4 so this region and for this p is equal to 2 the good region will be to the left of it so we have this particular region in which the third point must lie the question is which of the following could be the area of the triangle a b c so let's quickly join point a and b first so that we have at least one side of the triangle a and b now the third point since it can be anywhere here so if the third point is so much close here, the area can be anything approximately zero as well. Anything greater than zero is a possible area. Now the only problem is to understand that what could be the maximum area of the triangle so that we have the entire range. So what I'm seeing is that I'm just going to see that what is the maximum height because the distance between A, B can be quickly calculated. The distance between A point A and B will be equal to, I'm using the property y2 minus y1 whole square plus x2 minus x1 whole square. So that becomes equal to square root of 4 minus 2 square plus 2 minus minus 4 whole square. So that becomes equal to 4 plus 6 square 36 equal to square root of 40 which we can say is 2 root 10. Now the greatest height, the maximum height would be available if I take the farthest point from this line and drop a perpendicular on this line. So if I drop a perpendicular, this becomes the height of this particular triangle, assuming that C is at this point, which is the farthest point from line AB in the first quadrant. Now the farthest point here will be obtained at this particular place. If we mark this point C, this will have coordinates 2, 0 and this will have 2, 4. That means the triangle that we have, the ABC triangle, that will be this particular triangle. And now we need to find out the area of this particular triangle. So the area of this triangle can be found by drawing another construction the easier way. I'm simply drawing this particular line and marking it as D from the trapezium uh, ABCD. From this trapezium ABCD, if we subtract this triangle ADC, ABCD minus ADC, then we will have the area of triangle ABC. So the maximum area of triangle ABC will be equal to half of sum of parallel sides. A has Y coordinate 2, this B has Y coordinate 4, so sum of the parallel sides will be 2 plus 4 times the distance between them. This particular distance is 4 units plus 2 units, that means it is total equal to 6 units. So that is 18. Uh, this particular figure has area 18 minus the triangle ADC. The area of the triangle ADC will be half of 2 times 6 because this distance is 2 and this distance is 6. So 18 minus 6 is equal to 12 which means the area of the triangle is 12. So any area which is greater than 0 and less than or equal to 12 is a possible area. All three values satisfy the condition so the answer of the question must be option E. I hope you enjoyed the explanation. Thank you so much.